I never go live from my phone. It's been so long. There's nobody here. Are you kidding me? 150,000 subscribers and nobody's here yet? You just turned it on. 20 seconds ago. Hello? You gotta be kidding me. Not one person? Should probably make sure it's actually live, shouldn't I? Probably. Oh, one person liked it. Oh, it's a freaking dude. All right, there it is. Sure shit. All right, guys, we're going to fix one of these. Uh, oh, Christ. Oh, thank God. I thought it was going to be a talker. No, it was moving too fast. You want to see my chemtrails? The dude wasn't slowing down at all. All right, guys, we've deployed one of our devices here. This one needs a new uh, new power cable. So Zach's out here helping us deploy this stuff, and uh, I've got one with a bad power cable, so we're going to replace this live just for the hell of it. We're, we're in the middle of nowhere. So stream it. I'm not really watching chat because I'm fixing stuff, but... The power cables on these, this one's all jacked. God, these freaking little bees piss me off. Um, I don't. I need to figure out where I put my uh, the power cables. I, I had this already. Where did I put it? No, it's right here. No, it's not. That's only. Where did I put the pieces that I cut for this? Are you kidding me? Oh, they're right here. So we're just gonna take two. USB-C power pigtails. And we're going to basically solder these. So one's going to go to that modem. One's going to go to the computer board and the switch. So we're just going to wire these up. I don't have a soldering iron, so we're just going to use crimp, connector, crimp connectors, which is fine. It doesn't really matter, honestly. So we'll need a couple of these little crimp connectors. We've already deployed one unit. It's in the radar on my gap if you want to go take a look. Um, but this is uh this has been a long time coming i've known this is a problem and i'm just sick of dealing with it and we got time to fix it so we might as well fix it um, and it's easier doing this on the side of the road because there's nobody that like comes up and it's not that you don't want to talk to people about what you're doing it's just when you're kind of in the middle of something like this it's really hard to explain it to people and that's when people come up and want to talk. It's like when you can't really, you don't have the time. So it's just easier to do it in the middle of nowhere. So, yeah, Zach's going to be live today as well. You can go follow his channel. One of, maybe one of the mods could put a link in the chat. We're not going to have much for mod. Note to the staff, don't even worry about modding this stream too much. Like, this, I wasn't even planning this. So we just got to put all these together. It's all freaking like sweat beads are pissing me off. I think I parked in the cloud hole. Alright guys, just tie the grounds together. It's no big deal. God, get out of here. Pieces of shit. I got this. Jesus. Yeah, we're using these little spade terminals instead of soldering them. I think that's why we're having some failures because I get the switches too hot when I solder to them, uh, which was just my own laziness for not crimping a connector on. But there, we don't have to worry about these being waterproof because it's going to be in the thing. So it's just fine. The power wire that comes off of this, this is going to go to the battery power wire that comes off of this is going to go to the switch so this needs a spade terminal you tie all the grounds together common ground and then uh we're going to put a spade terminal on this because this will go to the switch to power the switch it's a lighted switch so that's why the switch is going to get ground if it wasn't if the switch didn't have a light in it we wouldn't need the ground we would just use just break the positive connection but so that's on there give it a test it's good now these these two get tied together as well those are our usb-c power which is just very basic. One for the pie, one for the modem. And again, 
again, this is kind of shoddy, but it's solid enough. Like this is kind of a disposable device in a way. So it's replacing this cluster. Oh boy, watch out. This is number four. This one's kind of handicapped. It's I don't want to say this one's thrown together, but this is definitely the uh, shitty one out of the entire fleet. Let's put it that way. Um, just for this reason, it's got this like hodgepodge power cable on there right now. And I don't remember why. I think I ran out of time or something and I had to like slap it together. But we're just going to go ahead and it's hot glued. We're just going to go ahead and uh, remove it. Do it right so we stop having issues. So on these rocker switches, it's no big deal. There's three terminals. The gold one is ground and then positive and positive. Um, but I've soldered onto this one. So I might have to replace the switch. I don't think I can strip that solder off there. I'll try. I really don't want to replace the switch because I don't want to deal with the mess of the epoxy. solder bead on there. Oh boy. We might be fixing to replace that. It's not the end of the world, I just don't want to do it. I'm just trying to strip that solder bead off. I don't have a soldering iron. I have a lighter, but I don't want to melt the switch. So I'm hoping I can just strip that solder bead off of there. Oh, I got half of it. It might go on now. spade terminal a little bit with the pliers. It's kind of a rigged way of doing this, but it's fine. Again, this isn't flying on the space shuttle. This is just a semi-disposable unit here, you know. All right, I think I can get this to go on without having to replace the switch. Which is good because these switches are a real pain to replace because they're super glued in there and weather sealed in there. All right, so I'm gonna test it before we hook anything up. It's a lighted switch. Oh no, did I, oh that's the old one. I was gonna say, did I not put that half on there? So we'll just plug the USB A into the battery. Not a big deal. All right, and the switch lights up, so we're good. So we'll start plugging it in. Make sure the pie turns on. All right, the pie turns on. So we need to run one of these up to the modem. Plug that in. Verify it turns on. All right, you can't see it because of the sun, but it's turning on. All right, that's basically it. Um, I don't have little zip ties. I, well, I do, but I don't feel like getting them. And just to make sure that this was the problem, I'm not gonna zip tie it yet. We'll zip tie it later when we know that fixed it. I'm just gonna reuse this like bread tie just to neaten this up a little bit. As long as this fixes the issue with this camera, um, if this does fix it, I'll just zip tie it later. But if I have to take it apart again, I don't want to dick with it. And then uh, we plug USB camera in. Yeah, and I heard it click. And we're just going to let that bundle sit in there. Now, this camera might actually be bad. Um, I think that camera might be bad. Um, but I also think it might have been the wiring. So we're going to take a look here. Let me go into radar. Oh, no, hang on. So here's our control panel that we use. So rapid deployment devices. This is number four. 
me see if this is on. It's on. Hit start, and this will turn to, yep, there it is. So in a minute, this will pop up in Radar Omega. There's number five that's deployed near us. It's just down yonder on the pole. I gotta find, I don't know where uh, number four is at. I'm gonna place RDD4 near you. No, not yet. Yeah, you're just getting to it as soon as I saw. Never mind. You got it. So, I'm gonna set this. So, here's our devices. I'm gonna go ahead and place it here for testing. To shut it off and then we'll reboot it again. I don't have the low latency mode turned on. I'll turn that on so it's got like a 30 second delay. But if this continues to have issues then we know the camera is bad. I thought it, I think yeah see there it went down it'll come back in a minute but I thought the uh, camera was bad but then I saw how shoddy that switch was hooked up and I think it might have been the switch so we'll see how that goes but if it does it again I'll just replace that camera because that camera has been dropped several times uh, we'll just replace this it's not a big deal it's just three bolts and then just it comes off and then we just re uh, re weather seal it so this should come up online here any minute Actually, let me check on number two because I've got number two rolling right now for testing. Number two should have audio, but it doesn't. Let me see what, if it's turned off. Encoder, yeah, no audio source. So we gotta turn that to camera start. So any minute now we should get audio off of number two. Actually, we'll give that a minute. We'll check number five. Oops, number five is the wrong one, and number four. Yeah, so it's working right now. That's the one we just repaired. Where's number two? Down there. We'll give that a minute. We'll yeah, so audio's five. working. I'll set that to public if you guys want to look at it real quick. So that's working. It's buffering. I got a bad connection out here on this phone. Yeah, Number so two is this right one now. right here. This one. We okay. So I'm going to say this one's probably okay. Um, that's really all that we had, guys. I'm probably going to go ahead and shut this off. Uh, that was really all I wanted to show you guys. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a live stream with what we were doing there. Um, but this is basically buttoned up. And I think I'm happy with it. This one's definitely not the cleanest of the bunch, um, but you can see the evidence of the drops. So that takes care of that. Just to show you guys what we did. Here is part of the old cable, all screwed up. And this was the uh, quality job I did with splicing, and I don't know why I had this female and male like this. Um, I think those cells that have fired in New Mexico are going to be our show. I have no idea why I did this. I think I was in a hurry, but this cable I think was supplying enough voltage or enough amps to the, uh, the board and everything. So trash 
trash. Keep this. So I carry this box full of spare components for field repairs. So there's at least like one or two of every component in that box. So if we need to do field repairs, we can do it all from that box. So I'll junk this. I'll keep this. We could reuse it. I'll even keep these uh, strands of wires that I cut off the pigtails because they might they might be useful if we need to extend a cable or something. But uh, those are live in the Radar Omega app right now, guys, if you want to go take a look. Um, but we just use these cheap Chinese... USB-C power pigtails so we don't have to make our own. It's just way cheaper, way easier. You get like five of these for eight bucks. I mean, you can't beat it. Spare switches. These are actually the new switches that we have. So instead of having to epoxy the switch into the side, th these actually have a, a thread. And then you can put a little silicone around here and then you can screw it down. So yeah, it's got silicone, but it's not epoxy. Um, it's a nicer switch, so that's what the style that we've gone to. They're the same price. You get like, well, again, like five of them for eight bucks. It's a pretty common theme these days. And uh, the DJI or the 4K units, we carry these Acer USB hubs. And the reason we carry this one specifically is the five volts in is power delivery. So we plug Pi, camera, and the modems into these four in, and then run the switch and then into the battery. That way we actually have like power delivery going to all the components because they're pretty power hungry. This is the only one that we found. It's like 30 bucks that actually allows us to do that um, properly. The other ones just don't work with having a switch on it. So the uh, real trick is getting the stuff to fit back in here and not spill out. Oh, jeez. All right, guys, that's about it. All right, so I want to do a real quick stream for that. That's about it, guys. Uh, I'm going to probably go ahead and shut this off. But uh, thanks for joining, and we're going to be live a little bit later. Uh, it's definitely clearing out out here, so have some severe storms later and uh, go check out uh, our project here in the Ramega app. See you later, guys.